Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Lab. In this video, we are going to build a complete HR management system in AppSheet from scratch to completion. Totally automated payroll, attendance tracking, monthly filters, email notification and a beautiful dashboard. Without writing a single line of code means it's not necessary or need any code. Let's begin by looking the tables we will be used in our Google Sheet. We have created the following sheets like employee, attendance, leave management, performance review, payroll, training programs. Each table contains the basic fields you will need like employee name, date time, date, time in, time out, status, salary, training type, etc. I'll link a simple Google Sheet below for you to copy. Now let's jump into app sheet and click make a new app. Choose start from your own data and connect the Google Sheet you have prepared. Once the app is created, app sheet will automatically detect the table. Go to the data tab and make sure all your tables are marked as read and write if needed. Let's make views for the each table which is recently connected with the app sheet. Go to views on the mobile icons, go and click on views, click on this plus icons, create new views, name it the new views. For example, leave management. Select tables from here, which table you want to make a views. Select view types from here, which one you like. Select the position where you want to be placed. If you want group your data, then set from here, add, and the basis of your requirement like status, reason, leave, set column order as per your requirement from here, manually or automatically. And the column width, narrow, wide as your requirement. Also the icon set from here and for the table from here and then save. Repeat this procedure for the R table you already connected with the app sheet. Next let's build the home page where user can navigate the entire app. Go to UX views, click new view, Just name it home, set view type to dashboard, set positions from here. Add section like add attendance, view payroll, performance review, leave management, and so on. Use tab, use tab in mobile view is on. Interactive mode also will be on. Use icon in group views for a clean look. Now go to each of your views and add a home button using a custom action to navigate by this dashboard. To create home button for each table, go to behavior for actions, click on this icon, click on this plus icon, create new action, name it, whatever you name. Select any table which want to you make in this button. From do this section, choose go to another view within this app, this one. Go to another view within this app, select target. Paste this formula, my like link to view and write it home, this one, then save. Select position, primary, prominent, inline, height. I'm go with prominent. To filter data on monthly basis, create a user setting field for selected month. To create user fields for month-wise data filtrations, Click on left side user data here and go with any section you want. Custom any section from here which you want. I am go this one. Name it selected month. Data type should be enum. And click on the pencil icon for more editing. Add values means the 12 month names from here one by one manually. When you complete the month name like this, then next, change the base type from here, input text, and input modes from here drop down, and nothing else. Go to the display name and like this. 
select a month to filter save done and save now to filter data we need a slice for the table go on the data tab which table you want to make a slice click on it and click on the plus icons create new slice for attendance or for this table name it for this slice like monthly attendance source table you select i am going with attendance raw filter condition you need to put expressions create new expressions paste this formulas in here like this and save this formula checks if the month's number of date matches the month selected by the user in the settings select the column for this slice if you need any changes in this column then you can remove the column on the this icon from here when you done this slice columns then go to save and click on save button this allows user to filter attendance and payroll on the monthly basis let's now create separate slices for each means at attendance and at payroll go to data click on the plus icon means for create a new slice name it at attendance with only necessary columns same procedure repeat for at payroll to create at payroll slice click on payroll table click on this plus icon create new slice name it at payroll form source table should be payroll raw filter condition should be blank and choose the column here status should be remove payment date also remove and year also be remove and okay then save now let's move on the view section for create views for these slices click on views and views and views and then this plus icon create new view name it new add payroll form for this data click on add payroll form view type should be form style side by side i like this one and icon should be dollar sign like this one and display name should be like this add payroll with the icon and save repeat this procedure for also the eight attendance form like this in the attendance table we will calculate the working hours using virtual columns at a virtual column called working hours with this expressions to calculate working hours we need a virtual column in attendance table click on attendance table then go on the virtual columns means this plus icons click on it and name it working hours and click on the a formula bar and write this expression in this section and save it and then done you can see here is the new column generated by the pencil color blue this column gives you an accurate total of daily working hours for each employee let's now set up an automation to set email when leave is approved or rejected means the status approved or rejected to make an automation in a sheet go on bots on automation icon click on it create new automation create new bots name it whatever you want create even create new event name it when when error is updated in the management choose the table leave management and changes should be only updated only update checked in error condition like this status is equal to approved or rejected means in only these two condition this formula will be work click on save then add a process here create a new process name it also send an email and click on this send an email send to our recipient add send to the employee email like this add subject like this one an email body should be like this is also good but you can change it as per your requirement like this this make sure your employee is instantly notified about their 
leave approval status now let's use formatting rules to highlight important data or making usually appealing your app go to formatting rules for example if working hours less than four then they should be red if leave status is equal to reject it then should be orange color highlight top performance in performance review this makes your app user friendly and visually powerful let's do a quick walkthrough of everything we build like home page with a navigate buttons attendance and payroll forms in separate views monthly filtering basis system automatic working hours calculation email notification on leave status beautiful interface using formatting rules all done inside app sheet with no coding i hope you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to digital lab more for more powerful app sheet tutorials and automations